Hey there everyone, it's David with the UFO Dave page on Facebook. Back at the lake. Last video I made was around the bend here, along from the public swimming area along the shoreline. And around the corner, a little ways along there, and then there's the cave. Today is beautiful, another beautiful day. I'm gonna head that direction. This is the direction where I've uh, shot my hiking videos and there's some rock faces across the other side that I wanted to check out so I'm gonna go past all this uh, industry that's going on. Oh, by the way where that um, when I shot my last video uh, the hiking video number three I showed this uh, indentation that's been smoothed down it's just around the bend here I'm hoping to see that from the water but I might get in the way of these guys doing their work, so we'll see when we get there. All right, got the boat ready. Got everything on, so let's get going. Okay, so on the other side of that shack, right between the shack and that gate, is around where that indentation is, so we're gonna try and head over there and see find from the water and then head across the lake to the other side to these rocky areas over here haven't been there before so it'll be the first time okay preserving battery so off we go so here we are this is what I was talking about before I'm showing from above in this little uh, indentation here where you can see if the water level is a bit higher, or even now, but you can see a pathway right up into that area. And claw marks all the way along the sides. And look at this one right here. Four distinct claw marks right in the rock. Coming out of the water. And they're all along the rock, scratch marks all the way up the rock. shapes etc etc right here a couple of claw marks slicing right through the rock and look at that big chunk of rock taken out right there and then chunks from the other side over there I'm gonna go around there and see that from there you can see on this side right there chunks of rock taken out and scratch marks right on the rock. Just a second, I'm going to get a little bit closer here. As I'm going along the way here, you can see slices in the rock. Going all the way up the side here. I'm trying to push my way along with the paddle. Look, all up here. Slices right in the rock, you can see. And this big chunk of rock taken out. Little triangular marks. Like, look at that. Right there. Oops. Sorry. That triangular mark. I'm floating past here, so I'll just kind of zoom back and show you this. Now, from this side, you can see all the scratch marks along the rocks. Cut marks in them. But if the water level was a bit higher, there wouldn't be as much of a um, as much of a lip. And it, like it's obviously smoothed it down along here. This whole area smoothed down, going back up to that sort of bowl area with big cut marks in the rock. Chunks of rock taken out, little slices taken out of the rock, all along the rock faces. You can see little chunks taken out. And it can get up on the other side too if the water levels. That's you know this area. This uh, comes down right to the water level, so it's gone up here, and you can see scratched out a little indentation right there. But yeah, you know, all along this whole section, try to get myself to spin around here. All around this whole area, you can see cut marks, giant 
chunks of rock taken out and access from the water right here going all the way up into that sort of secluded area it's like a little semicircular bowl area so smooth in there chunks taken out of the rock right back there you can see the whole chunk taken out and all the way along this face of rock you can see as well cut marks uh, slices chunks taken out oh, coming up out of the water and there's a little, little area right up here with a little flat spot and some grass coming up out of it nice lush area to sit on a couple of claw marks in the rock going up to it anyway we're going to be heading across to those rocks and one's on the other side over there so let's go and see what's there just wanted to show this to you as I'm just just barely around the corner from where I was. A little spot where you can just come right up there, around the corner, up the little hill, past the log, and there's a space right in that, behind that rock there. You can see all the claw marks on the rock. Chunks of rock taken out everywhere. Triangular spots but it's come up like a zigzag like a switchback up to there and then there's that uh, there's that uh, flat area that's gone up there as well so come from the water up and around the corner up behind that rock there or up there to the little flat spot It's a bit steep, but you can see all on the rock face along here. Chunks of rock taken out with cut marks in them. And up the rock face along here. Same deal. Anyhow, moving along. So I'm a little ways further than I was before, but you can see this whole area along here with these broken rocks but also slice marks in the rocks and the same like that one over there like there's a slice in that rock right there you can see the point and the follow through and along that rock we use it right right by that tree look along the wall right there big chunks taken out just everywhere but all these rocks coming down smaller rocks in this whole area over here is a nesting area somewhere where it's flattened out I want to see what that white thing is I have no idea what that is over there I want to see what that is as I've still found no evidence of like bones or consumption of any kind of animals or you know, teeth that might have fallen out or a skin that it might have shed or something. I mean, the only thing I've found in abundance are claw marks and nests and chew marks in the rock. You can see behind it in this area, all the way up these rocks, all the vertical marks in these rocks is where it's climbed up the rock face. It's pretty, pretty sheer along there. But anyway, I'm gonna move in and see what we've got. Uh, that white thing, I don't know what it is. Not that I can get to it, but we'll see. Okay, so look at the chunk taken out of the top of this rock here, fresh, and then a chunk taken out of the rock back here, fresh. All these rocks along here have been I'm looking at them. You can see triangular marks on the rocks, chunks taken out that are sort of a V shape, cut marks in the rocks. Like a double, there we go, double cut mark. Like, almost like it's putting two fingers in and cutting through this rock 
Taking a chunk of it out. A little indentation in this area. But this looks like a, a flotation, some sort of a flotation type uh, thing with teeth marks in it. I wish I could grab that, but I'm unable to get out. So, anyway, we'll put that there, but it's obviously something that's uh, trying to back up here. Let's see what exactly it is. Oh, look on the side of this rock here. Where is it? Right there. Where is it? Oh, there. You can see the print where something has put its claw on there and taken a chunk of rock out. I don't know what that is over there, but there's something behind it too. Maybe a cushion of some sort. Is that a rock? No. Anyway, it looks like it's got a tooth mark in it as well. That's been taken up there. It's not a. This is not a tidal. It's a an enclosed reservoir, dammed reservoir. So when the water goes up and down, it's because it's enclosed. Like a bathtub fills up when it rains, you can drain it as well. But this looks like it's been taken up onto the shore, whatever that is. And here we go with a. Well, look, you can see all along this. This this entire thing here right there was taken out by something and then more chips there's a rock with that Charlie Brown triangle type of uh, cut mark in it and then one here right there this area all along here look at this okay so I've kind of backed up naturally towards this with the current and there's a spot right there it's been flattened down you can see it's an indentation where the rocks have been kind of pushed to the side and all these cut marks on the rocks and claw marks and chew marks but it's flattened along there that's a nest and a little little ramp it's built a little ramp going up and it comes up and sits right there nobody's gonna bother it just chews on rocks logs and whatnot Cut mark in that log. Like a claws off the top of that log right there. Yeah, yeah, all flattened down that area, right there. That's a nest. And then there's a, a V shape. Oh my gosh, a rock over here somewhere. See it? Cut mark in a rock, V shape across that right there. It's sort of triangular shape where it's come down and cut a chunk out and taken a piece out of that rock. Anyway, I'm about to, I think this battery's going to die, this one, so we want to preserve some battery. I'm going to head along this coastline, or shoreline rather, and see we're still on our way across there into the sun, but all these rocks have been along here, been brought down and chewed on and clawed and all the marks up on these rocks here, look at this one here, fresh rock exposed. And on the underside of this, this giant boulder, I'll try and make my way over here, but it's the same same deal, look, there's a ramp, it's built itself, a ramp, oh look at the claw marks on the side of that boulder going in, yikes, look at this thing, okay, this is a giant boulder, where it's got a ramp coming right up, rocks coming right up out of the water into a nest under side of that rock face. Anyway, we're going to hit something, I think. And look at that. The slice is taken out of that rock. That, oh my goodness, look at that nest right there. It's like a an open-air condo. And then going up the side to the top, there's an area up there. 
There's an area, flattened area up there. And all of these rocks along here have chunks taken out of them. As it's come up out of the water and gone up the ramp it's made, under that rock, and you can see the cut marks on the top of that rock too. It likes to reach up and take slices and chunks, pieces out of that rock too, from underneath it's scratching its nest, and up on the top of that boulder too. It's nice and flat for it. Yeah, all of these rocks along here. And it might seem like some of these nests are way up from the water line or way down like this you can see it's a flattened area right near the water line but this may not have been the water line you know who knows how long ago you can see as i'm going along here all of the fresh rock that's been exposed you see follow through right there okay that battery died so we're going to leave this area every time i go to another or think i'm going to another area i get sidetracked with something i see but Check that out, big chunk taken out. Chunks taken out of these rocks. Fresh rock exposed. Anyhow, look at that. I mean, that nest right there with the big boulder. Incredible. And then all the way along here, all the way along this shoreline. Depending on how high the water is, it can easily get up on some of these flat spots. And there's cut marks all the way along the rock face here. There's one I can see right there. Big chunk taken out. Okay. We're going right across to there now. Let's see what we can see. As I'm coming up to this area, I can already see that kind of step, step, step coming up to a flat area. Top marks on the rocks, same thing as on the other side of the lake. I think this area right here, there's a nest right there. You can see how the rocks have been kind of damaged all around it. Same way as the other side of the lake, big cut marks in the rocks and a step or a pathway up to a little flat area behind a few rocks shoot up I'm just coming up against the rocks here and you can see this grab this log I'm coming up to Oi. this area here with the log up on it it's a nice flat area and it's all sort of white and smoothed down on the rocks back over there where that nest is. Look at this uh, slice mark right here. That triangular shape. And then fresh rock. Try to spin myself around. So i being taken in a certain direction here with the current. You can see on some of these rock faces, triangular marks again, like that right there. Other areas along the face of this rock, but up on top, quite flattened out. Nice area to just sit up there. Again, that's where it's white. I don't know what it is. Whether it's uh, on its skin or something like that, smoothing it down. This right here. Big chunk taken out. Something came down and clawed that piece out. You can see where it started and went above it. There's fresh rock exposed. Something came down. Took that chunk out. So you can see where it came. Sharp when it came into the rock. Whatever it was was super sharp with the tip of it. 
and then above it, this whole thing right here has been taken out by something that's come down from above. Like that, taking that chunk of rock out while it comes up out of the water. Right out of the water. Anyway, I'll try and push myself around the corner. Hold on a sec, we'll be right back. You can see all along here, all these triangular marks, cut marks on the rock, all the way going up. And there's this area that comes right out of the water. And comes right up like a pathway, zigzagging its way. Or the flat areas along there, over there, where you can see. And the areas that have been flattened down. My kind of back up see what I can see from a little bit of a distance from here. You can see where this stick is. It's like a slide. It's smoothed down. It's created a slide from up above. But behind those sticks is a flattened area and along here it's all been sort of flattened down. And then right over here same kind of deal you can see it's kind of indentation it slopes down and there's some rocks in there the claw marks around it on that boulder too triangular shaped claw marks cut marks in the rock up here bang into something I'm sure there we grounded ourselves here but all along this face you can see chip 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 chips and chunks taken out all the way along here this is a little, little area, it's sort of an indentation with a step step, nice little access up to it. Cut marks and slices all the way along these rocks. Look at that. Up on top there is a flat area and how smooth it is along around this corner. Something has gone up and down there, up onto the top. It's real flat up top there. And you can see how the rock has been kind of smoothed down. And if the water level were higher, it would be just easy to come right up off of, you know, the water. Shoot right into there and around the corner and you wouldn't be seen. It's coiled up there. Again, all these areas along here, there's a ramp leading up the side, <laughs> and it just comes in off the water here, and then just goes up. See how choppy these rocks are? It's just been cut to pieces by claws, and it just goes right up the top there. You can see on the side, there's a big chunk taken out right there, and then all along this face. Here, look at all the vertical cut marks in these rocks and chunks taken out everywhere. Triangular area, triangular areas where it's been rocks has been taken out. out of it with cut marks coming right from there look at that cut right into the rock and then it went down leaving these marks in the rock and then below it too a follow through gonna hit something here boy and look at that one big scoop taken out right there big scoop and this is the perfect look at this all the cut marks, the vertical marks on these rocks are all slices from it just coming up out of the water right here and going right straight up that ramp into the woods above and all fresh rock exposed along here top of that rock right there fresh rock exposed all these, look at all these stripes along here 
All of the stripes on this rock are cut marks from claws. And it going up and smoothing down this rock. Ooh, look at this. It's like a little it's like a little cave type thing where oh it definitely has been up on the top on this flat area up here. Look at this, the white on the rock right there. Right there, and the sort of indentation of the white on the rock. That white, I don't know what it is, but whether it's poop or what, who knows. And now I'm coming into this little, this little alcove type of thing. Oh, this has definitely been cut out. Look at that. The cut marks on the rock going all the way up. Chunks of rock taken out. Chunks of rock taken out. Cut marks in the rock. Leading up out of the water, out of this little... Look at that one. A chunk of rock taken out. And it just climbs its way up into the woods. Some of the trees have fallen down here probably because it's clawed its way up there. You can see all the way up there's triangular cut marks into the rock. Claw marks going all the way up this rock face. Look right, right there. Two claws right through the rock, sliced it and left that right in the rock. Evidence of it being here. Okay, battery preservation, let's continue. Okay, check out that big chunk taken out there, and the claw marks left on the rock. Holy crap, anyway, I'm floating down here going pretty fast. I'm probably gonna hit something right about now. That's, that's grounded me a little. So look at this, another area right along the way where it's just all flattened. And there's areas where you can just slip up out of the water, no effort required. Then go along here and leave these white marks again. White marks on the rock, claw marks in the rock. This is an indentation right there where it's made a little nest. That's like a semi-circular nest. And these rocks are all smoothed down. Who knows how long it's been going on. A semicircular nest with some wood in there, nice wood to chew on, some rocks to chew on. There, rocks all damaged there with claw marks in them. And it just kind of climbs up into the woods up there. Yeah, oh, evidence of it being here. Cut marks in the rocks, fresh rock exposed. Now we're kind of coming around a, a bit of a point here. Let's see where this rock a slice mark. Something came right straight down. Left the claw marks in the rock right there. And then this rock is smoothed down because it's come right up out of the water. Zip up the hill. Areas. Oh, this is great. This is kind of bringing me along the shoreline here. Don't even have to paddle. We'll go on a nice tour. Look at that. Chunks taken out of the rock face. Some areas where it's made a little nest and indentation. The rock face along here is kind of sloping. Pretty steep. Steep grade. 60 degrees. Scientists, so I couldn't tell you. But all up here along this rock, like all claw marks up this rock. It likes to claw its way up these rocks. This is another indentation, just like the last one. Like, I think these, these are accidental, and they're all smoothed down. This is like a, a slide that it's created. Hold on, I'm going to hit this rock pretty hard. I'm going to stop myself. So, yeah, here's this other alcove type deal and it's slide. Sorry, the ore is grinding against the rock here. But here's this uh, alcove with this slide type deal. I've seen these before. You can see on the rock there. Cut 
It slices right in the rock. It's come right up here. Right up here in this alcove. I think they create them. Look at this, up on the rock, right above me. Another slice mark right in the rock. And below it, look at this whole rock face right here. It's just all destroyed, but from claw marks, repeated use, something clawing its way up this, up this thing. It just comes up out of the water. Right here, claws its way up. Up into the into the woods, and leaves its mark on the rock. Faces another one below that one, right there. Look at that! It's like a footprint, a claw print. And then above it is that slice right there. And then I want to show you this one too below. Like all these cut marks in the rock is unbelievable. Look at that! All these. All these slices. But look at this one over here. Look at this right out of the water. Triangular shape right here. It's like a rodeo right now. That matches so many rocks that I have. I have a rock that <laughs> I can match that up with right now. Hey. Anyway, I'm getting tossed around here. That's a giant claw mark in the rock, and there's other ones, triangular shapes, cut marks in these rocks here, and this goes up to a plateau, where it just sits there, makes this little nest, and it just sits right up on top there, and then, look, there's a rock all by itself sitting there, what do you think that got there? All these rocks right up here being broken down piece by piece. It's, making, it's made another nest. You can see behind those rocks, it's a flat area. All smoothed down with that white. Again, with the white. Sorry, I'm trying to get myself turned around and not flow past. You can see up there, it goes right up out of the water. Even its mark up there. Man. Like right up there. Little nesting area. Little nesting area. And oh, look at that on the rock. That and that. Taking chunks out of the rock. Okay. And again, coming up here. There's another alcove. The battery's getting short on this one too. Let's see, but another alcove with these rocks coming down. I'm gonna try and get in there closer or I'll drift by. Hold on. Okay, and cut marks on the rocks. The Charlie Brown hair type of triangular shapes. And look at this. This whole area right here, cut marks on the rocks. And up there is a flattened area with a little ramp coming up out of the water going snaking its way no pun intended snaking its way up to the side and around in the back there behind that flat rock is a flattened area and you can see even here right on these rocks right here like cut mark in the rock claw marks claw marks going up the side right there there's a print in the rock base right there with a Big, long, big, long cut coming down diagonally. Going all the way up, you can see up the rock as well, in the sunshine right there. Just a chunk taken out, and there's claw marks right there. Of something that took that out. But going all the way up this, this rock face again, just like at the cave, sitting right up on top but look at this nest it's made you can see up against the rock face here but yeah it's made a nest for itself this is no accident a little ramp coming up out of the water and then a nest right up in the back there nice and secluded but up on the rock you can see behind it there's 
triangular shapes and the same kind of marks we see all over, cut marks in the rock above. It just goes right up, and you can see right on the, right next to that log on the rock face are these vertical marks, cut marks from something clawing its way up there repeatedly. It lives here, it lives up in the back, it makes its nest here and everywhere around this lake. Whenever I try and go somewhere else, right next to me is more evidence. It's everywhere. Anyway, onward, oh look at that rock, right on the rock there. Triangular marks right there, a couple of them. That's it going back into the water because they're pointing wherever it's pointing. That's the direction it's going. The tip is pointing where it's going. Anyway, around the corner we go. Just kind of backed up and started going again, but you can see this slice right out of the rock. I'm going to hit something again. Boom! I'm going to hit something that shows me where these slice marks are. Look at this. Slice marks. Again, this is kind of a really sharp rock face, but it doesn't really care. It just climbs its way up. You can see in the rock here. Slices taken out of the rock. It doesn't happen naturally. And then there's a little indentation right above it. Where it's used this as a nesting area, resting, nesting, resting, whatever. Yeah, you can see the cut marks going across the rock as well. It's dragged across the rock. Going up, going across. Maybe it's jumped into the water from there. But yeah, the white on the rock, I don't know what, maybe it's poop or something like that. There are some sort of mineral deposits and, and other things. We can check that out. Triangular, heading in that direction. Back to another as I'm floating down here. We're trying to put my paddle, there's a triangular mark there, and then cut marks on the rock. I'll try and turn myself around here. Ah, fresh rock exposed right there. Fresh rock exposed. Triangular or valley cut into there. More, that's a claw mark right in the side of that rock. Like more cut marks, cut marks. This is another big nest here. Look, it's been shaped. And right up behind that boulder, nice little area to sit and a flattened area coming right up out of the water. Lots of cut marks all over these rocks, all over the rocks. And then the white on the rocks. And a nice, nice little pathway right up to the woods there. Going through the woods. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't really go camping. I don't think I'm gonna go camping anymore. Uh, like that big chunk taken out right there. Big slice. It's like a handprint in the rocks. You can see. It's so strong. Its claws are so sharp. It just takes these pieces out. As it comes up out of the water. Again, this white on the rock. goes up onto the rock there in a flat area, or what? Anyway, let's back this up. There's more claw marks right there on that rock. Look at that. Oh, I'm going past it. You can see the vertical marks again. We're going to come past it here. Oh, bang up against this log. There we go. The cut marks right there. The claw marks on the rock. This big boulder. Flat areas and smoothed down areas that come right up out of the water. All these rocks, these chunks of rocks that have been taken out, cut out with claws, and it just goes right up the side from the water, right up to a nice little nesting, nice little flat area up there. Oh, look at that one! Cut right out of the rock, triangle shape. All this rock has been freshly exposed. This isn't okay. I've come around the corner into a little alcove, a little cove rather. Uh, there's more nesting areas along here. 
more giant cut marks along like look at all that rock that's been exposed wow and big chunks of rock taken down I'm still floating backwards um, but I wanted to show you this as well well you can see across on the boulder there cut marks across the rock and triangular shapes going up the rock. Hold on. Let's see if I can get myself back here. Hold on a second. Okay, I've got a triangular shape there, cut marks in the rock, triangular shapes here, here, cut marks in the rock. But look, it leads up to this little oasis. this little grassy area that has perfect access up out of the water and it's just all flattened down with little rocks that have been chewed. Oh, I wish I could get out. I'm trying to float myself back to see it here, but it's like a little all this little tufts of nice grass and everything. It goes up the back. To a nice little flat area. That is a nest and a half. And look at all the rock and chunks of it's been taken off. And then it goes right up the side, right up the hill. From there, look how smooth those rocks are. Wow. And all the rocks in there have been kind of 